With the instrumentation of the canal we never managed to treat the canal in its entirety. That's why cleaning and disinfection of all areas of the root canal using irrigating solutions is considered essential for the success of endodontic treatment. That is why once we finish preparing the canal we carry out an irrigant activation protocol. Both sonic and ultrasonic activation show a higher disinfection as well as better distribution compared to positive pressure. Of the many sonic instruments this is the most used, Endo Activator. This wireless device has polyacrylic tips with three sizes available. Sonic instruments work at a lower frequency than ultrasonic instruments. Endo Activator eliminates the smear layer and favors the entry of the irrigant into the lateral canals. It has no cutting action and should be used more or less 2 mm from the working length to avoid extrusion of the irrigant. Passive ultrasonic irrigation, which is what we perform with these wireless devices, consists of filling the canal with irrigant and activating the device. Using ultrasonic waves, energy is transmitted from the tip to the irrigant. Ultrasonic irrigation generates two phenomena on the irrigant, acoustic microstreaming and cavitation. Microstreaming is the creation of nodes and antinodes along the ultrasonic tip. The solution rotates and returns around the instrument, carrying the irrigant to the dentin walls. In curved canals, if the tip touches the dentin wall, this effect is significantly reduced. Cavitation is the formation of bubbles and their subsequent collapse, improving the cleaning of the canal. The ultrasonic technique has had better results when it comes to removing debris from the root canal, as well as distributing the irrigant along the canal. Also when penetrating uninstrumented areas such as isthmuses compared to sonic activation. However, in curved root canals where the ultrasound tip will touch parts of the root canal, I prefer to use endo activator.